Good day, learners. You are come back to our chemistry class. Today, we are going to be looking at electrolysis. We are going to continue on Faraday's first law of electrolysis. If you can recall in our last class, we were able to actualize some calculations in Faraday's first law of electrolysis when we are talking about mole to mass relationship. Today, we are going to proceed in this calculation for better understanding. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent classes. Kindly do well to click the link in the description box in order for you to enjoy the previous classes. So let's move on and look at the best way of solving Faraday's first law of electrolysis. Example one, how many Faraday's of electricity are required to deposit 0.20 mole of nickel? If 0.10 Faraday of electricity deposited 2.98 grams of nickel during the electrolysis of its ATO solution. When we look at this question, we are asked to find the number of Faraday's of electricity. Now, in what required to deposit 0.20 mole of nickel. If 0.10 Faraday of electricity deposited 2.98 grams. Now what we have to note here is, in this case, we are asked to find the how many number of Faraday will, de will be deposited in 0.20 mole. When this 0.10 Faraday is being deposited in 2.98 grams, this one is in mass, 2.98 grams. This one is in mole. So we are going to find a way of changing this mass to mole so that it will be easier for us to calculate. That is, from here, from this question, 2.98 grams will be, so, will be converted into mole. That is, mass of nickel is 2.98 grams. Why the molar mass of nickel, molar mass of nickel, is given as 59 grams per mole. Now, number of mole equals to mass over molar mass. If we recall from one of those classes we have done before, the number of, this is the, one of the formula for calculating mole concepts. Number of mole equals to mass over molar mass. So number of mole equals to our mass is 2.98 divided by molar mass, 59. So number of mole equals to, so we take our calculator, we are having 0 0.05 mole. So this is the amount of nickel. This amount of nickel. Now from this question now, let's start from here. If 0 0.10 Faraday of elasticity deposited 0 0.05 mole. So the gram has been converted to mole. So 0 0.10 Faraday's of electricity deposited 0 0.05 mole, 0 0.05 mole of nickel. Fine. Then now come here, how many Faraday's? How many, let's say unknown. How many of this electricity is going to give us 0 0.20 mole? 0 0.20 mole of nickel. We cross multiply. So we have this times this. 0.05x is equal to 0 0.10 Faraday multiplied by 0 0.20. Now, if I was by 0.05x, give us 0 0.10 Faraday multiplied by 0 0.20 divided by 0 0.05. So, what do we have? We have 0 0.4 Faraday. So, which means that 0 0.4 Faraday is required to deposit 0 0.20 mole. Example two, how many moles of copper will be deposited by 4.0 moles of electrons in the reaction represented by the equation? This is the equation. From this equation given to us, we are asked to find the number of moles of copper that we deposited. Here, we're not dealing with Faraday's now. The number of moles here, we have two moles here. 2 moles is going to give us 1 mole of copper. So 2 moles of copper 2 plus will give us 1 mole. So from this relation, 
we can say that 2 moles of Cu2 plus will deposit 1 mole of copper. Then, how many moles of copper? We need to find this copper, that is copper, that will be deposited by 4.0 moles of electrons. And this is the electron. So 4.0 moles of these electrons is going to give us how many? So I'm going to find the number of moles of that copper. Cross multiply, 2 times y. 2y is equal to 4.0 times 1, 4.0. So divide both sides by 2, y equals to 4.0 divided by 2, which equals what? 2. So 2 moles. So which means that 2 moles, 4 moles of electron required to deposit 2 moles of what? Copper. Example 3. Calculate the amount in moles of lead that will be deposited by passing 3 fire days of electricity to a solution of a lead to salt. To find the number of moles of lead, and you know lead has a charge of 2 plus. That is, Pb2 plus is going to accept 2 electrons to deposit Pb. From here, since we are dealing with Faraday's, unlike the previous example that we are talking about moles. So which means this one now is going to be 2 Faraday's of elasticity giving us 1 mole of lead. Now, we are not saying that calculate the amount in moles of lead that will be deposited by passing 3 Faraday's of elasticity through a solution of a lead 2 salt. So 2 Faraday's of Pb2 plus is depositing 1 mole of Pb, which is lead. Then 3 Faraday's given to us of Pb2 plus, we deposit how much? Let's say unknown x. Cross multiply. 2f multiplied by x is equal to 3f multiplied by 1. You have both side by 2f. x equals to 3f multiplied by 1 divided by 2f. f cancels with f. s equals to 1.5. So under what? Under mole. So which means that. 3 Faraday of lead 2 plus, that is electricity, we deposit 1.5 mole of lead. So this is another way of relating mass to mole relationship. Now, next class, we are going to look into another aspect again of the mole to mass relationship, which is are quite different from these ones we have solved so far. Before I leave this class, don't forget to like and share my videos. If you are a new member on the channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. Thank you very much and watch out for the next lesson.